Hello everyone, this is Dino Chris from Prisoner Facts. This is Prisoner Facts Extra Episode Number 62. This will be my five favorite paleontology documentary shows slash series. And so let's actually get down to the criteria. So the criteria for this episode here is that this is a ranking this time. So this will be the ranking, oh, this will be my first ranking of an extra episode. And uh, this is my opinion though too. And this is my opinion too. So everyone's list is different. So just keep, in the, keep that in mind. So everybody's list is different in terms of their favorite paleontology documentary shows and series. There is an honorable mention and they'll be coming first before the list. And so I'll give you my, there'll be two uh, two shows that I will give on mentions in there as well. There will be some shows I do leave out, but keep in mind, like I said, this is my opinion. Everyone's list is different. And I want you guys to let me know what are your favorite paleontology documentaries uh, in, the, in the comments below. Please do so in the comments down below. You can give me your top five. You can give me your top ten. Or... Maybe you just have only one, and the others are and others are just considered are just considered to be a good or okay uh, type of series. So let's actually get down to the honorable mentions. So the first honorable mention is Jurassic CSI by National Geographic. Uh, this show came out in 2011, and uh, and it's mostly uh, con uh, run by Dr. Phil Manning uh, from Manchester University. And so he does a lot of these like scientific studies about dinosaurs in this uh, series. And he does some out of the box uh, type of uh, ideas to actually create these like conclusions. Now keep in mind, he probably had to do this many, many times uh, to make sure that he get this right. And so, yeah, so I did like this show. Some of the graphics in uh, of the dinosaurs kind of look a little wonky. I mean, let's let's face it. National Geographic does have some wonky uh, uh, graphics for their dinosaurs, but uh, I love the science. And I think this is one of the few uh, National Geographic shows that I enjoy the science a lot more uh, than anything else. But it is in my honorable mention, not in my top five. Another honorable mention is American Experience Dinosaur Wars. So this is based on the PBS show, American Experience. There's one episode I did love, and that is Dinosaur Wars. This is, talks about the Bone Wars from the 1800s in the United States between the Battle of Othniel Charles Marsh and Edward Drinker Cope, the two most famous paleontologists in the United States at that point in time. And I love how they kind of made like this great storytelling about this um, about this war uh, between two scientists. And this is kind of like a... Kind of like a bless, kind of like say, a good thing, for paleontology, but also a bad thing for paleontology too, because you see two sides of the coin. Uh, here is that the good side is that you see these two scientists make incredible discoveries, found numerous uh, different types of species of dinosaurs, reptiles, mammals. I mean, you name it. Like they found a lot of fossils in their time. The bad side of of this from paleontology is that it kind of does make it look like a bad, like a big honking black eye to paleontology because it is uh, two men who did not get along with each other and really just have this like argument of word, just like this war of words, uh, really. And, and it's all about like who gets the better credit and all that sorts of stuff, which is kind of a bruise in paleontology but you know what not all scientists get along and so this actually explains it and that explains why these two uh guys did not get along but there's a book uh about the bone wars that i am going to read and i'll do an extra episode of review about that uh in the future and it'll probably happen in 2023 so i'll let you guys know when that will happen but it'll be in 2023 but uh yeah, check out that show. You can find it on PBS. It is out there, and also it is on, available on disc, on DVD. So go check it out, and I highly recommend it. So let's get started with the list. So my number five favorite paleontology documentary is Dinosaur Planet. So this documentary series, there's four episodes, and this show came out in 2003, and I actually enjoyed this uh, show when it came out. 
because of the great CGI and also good storytelling too. This is good storytelling um, in, in terms of the in terms of how they actually tell how the story goes uh, with like how these animals possibly had lived. The CGI was great in in this one. It was done by the Discovery Channel. Uh, back in the time when Discovery Channel did uh, documentary series uh, way back then, and this was kind of like the last one of the few last times uh, that that Discovery Channel did this. Now the narration is by Christian Slater, actor. Now the the narration was wasn't as great, but it is actually kind of a little bit uh, kind of. Uh, odd to hear uh, Christian Slater's voice to be in the narration for a paleontology documentary series, but you know what? It's not that bad. And you get to see uh, Scott Sampson too. He actually has done some uh, pretty cool stuff in paleontology. Found numerous uh, fossils and and found different types of species of dinosaurs. And uh, check out his work. He is actually an amazing paleontologist and shows up a lot in between uh, story segments in this up in this show. I did like the show. Not my all-time favorite, but it's actually kind of up there. Number four is Paleo World. Now, this documentary series start was has been was run has ran on TLC, believe it or not, the Le the Learning Channel back in the mid '90s, so 1994 to 1997. There were many episodes of Paleo World, and uh, you can find some of these episodes on YouTube. You can go check those out. Uh, if you feel like just typing Paleo World, you can find all types of episodes of uh, Paleo World. Some of them are actually pretty well done, uh, believe it or not. Now, keep in mind, it is aged. It has aged, and so some of the information on the on these episodes has changed uh, compared has is eight is kind of aged uh, so forth. And so when you compare it to the information that we have today, it is kind of uh, aged, but you know what? It's still not too bad. You get some pretty cool models uh, at the time in the 90s, and this is when like Jurassic Park really took over uh, the the stratosphere uh, in terms of media and paleontology. Like paleontology was the hottest science uh, in the mid 90s. I, I mean, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Paleontology was everywhere because of Jurassic Park, and we can thank Jurassic Park for that. But you know what? Paleo World is still an amazing show. Uh, I I love I love the narration. The music is fantastic. Uh, still dated information and also dated uh, models and designs. But you know what? It's still an amazing show. Three is Prehistoric Predators, National Geographic's uh, series about prehistoric predators. Mostly they do the mammals on this one. They do not talk about dinosaurs. They mainly talk about uh, the mammals. They did a terror bird episode, and also they did a megalodon episode as well. And uh, I hope they continue to do more, but we'll see what happens if they continue to do more. My guess is they probably won't. But uh, yeah, Prehistoric Predators is a really good show. Uh, some of the CGI of the animals does look a little bit uh, kind of kind of odd, but you know what? At the time, it was still it's still kind of not too bad. Um, their more famous episodes are like the Ice Age creatures, so like uh, the saber tooth cat, the dire wolf, the giant short faced bear. Uh, those were actually the episodes that are more popular uh, of the show. But they also did a hyenodon uh, episode. They did an Archaeotherium or Intelodon episode. Uh, the Terror Bird episode is one of my favorite ones, uh, but I like the uh, Giant Short Face Bear one and the Archaeotherium one and even the Hyenodon one. Those are really good episodes. I think the Dire Wolf one was actually not too bad, but uh, some of the information is still kind of dated, but you can still get a really good kick of, of how good the science has been done in this one. But the science is really well done uh, in this episode and and I highly recommend you watch this show. Number two is the Walking With series. The Walking With series it has been around for a long time. It started in 1999 with Walking With Dinosaurs, and it continued on all the way over to, I believe, uh, 2012 or 2008. 
uh, somewhere around there. It, it was it, it was around for a long time. BBC did a great job with this show, with this series. I mean, it was just amazing. And you can see by these posters, these are by release date. And so you get Walking with Dinosaurs, then you get Allosaurus, the Walking with Dinosaurs special, then you get Walking with Beasts, then you get Walking with Cavemen, then you get Chased by Dinosaurs, you get two episodes there, Giant Claw and Land of Giants, and then you get Chased by Sea Monsters, which is part of the Chased by Dinosaurs uh, bit, and you get Walking with Monsters, which is before the Dinosaurs. All of these series, all of these are pretty well done at the time. Uh, information is still dated on some of, on a lot of these. Uh, the information has changed compared to today. And so these are still fun to watch. These are still fun to watch. You get a really, really good uh, storytelling. You get good narration. Uh, you have it all uh, in these series. The thing about them is that they are dated. Um, there are some paleo documentaries that are better with the information now that compared to those compared to what we what they did but still good storytelling good graphics good um, uh, use of like uh, puppeteering and all that sort of stuff practical effects I mean it is really well done walking with monsters uh, kind of started to get away from the practical effects a little bit. They tend to usually use the computer generated imagery. So the CGI a little bit more, but you get the idea of like, all of these are pretty well done. My number one, and it is a very recent paleo documentary. Number one is Prehistoric Planet. I enjoyed this show a lot more than a lot of these other shows. Uh, because of how well designed the dinosaurs were and all of the and the narration is fantastic the music is great the sceneries are amazing i mean it has everything that you want and a like a paleontology or dinosaur documentary you get to see like uh, creatures that no, that never get that much attention like some like sea creatures that you, that never got a lot of attention pterosaurs that never got a lot of attention some other dinosaurs that never get a lot of attention that's what i like about this show it is very very well done hopefully they can do another season which i hope they can and and hopefully that we get to see more dinosaurs that get into the spotlight a little, little bit more hopefully you get to a little bit more in the cretaceous a little bit or get into the jurassic maybe the triassic a little bit more try other types of uh eras and periods all that sorts of stuff i hope they continue to do this uh show as long as they can uh to appease the eye to a lot of people around the world this is amazing an amazing show it has topped the walking with series in my opinion in terms of of like the designs of the animals and also the and also like the imagery the music the narration it has it all i love it and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would say it is fantastic. And so, yeah. And uh, like I said before in the criteria, let me know what your favorite prehistoric or paleontology documentary series or shows that in the comments down below. Please feel free to do so. So the next episode will be in July 28th, 2022, and there'll be a special episode. And somebody suggested to me to do a Camarasaurus uh, special episode, and I am agreeing to that uh, request. And so the Camarasaurus episode will happen next week. So get ready for that. So Camarasaurus will be the uh, dinosaur that I'll talk about. And uh, But you can still send me questions about dinosaurs and other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com or as go on my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts with Dino Chris. Like the page, you guys, you post your questions in the comment section. Please put them in the comment section. Don't put them on Messenger. Messengers for private conversations. So please put your questions in the comment section on the Facebook page and, I'll, and the YouTube is out there. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and according to my analytics, a lot of you guys that are checking out my channel are not subscribed yet, so please feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell so that way you can get weekly notifications of every of every video that comes out. And uh, also, 
uh, like the videos and also share the videos, share the channel to anybody that is interested in dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. And uh, YouTube is out there. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments section because I do read them all. Your questions do mean a lot in the Q&A &A episodes. And uh, you guys give me some great questions and uh, keep that up. I love your great questions. And make sure you keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Instagram at dino.grist.pf. I post pretty cool stuff on there. You can also, you can also follow me on Twitter at C-S-T-R-A-L-L. It's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there as well. Also, take care of people around you. Knows that for younger people out there, to mix the list and your parents, your teachers, and your guardians, it's the best motivation you could have for a good education. It's very important to have a good education for the good education. A good, a good job in the future. That's it for now. And I'll see you guys next week.